I'm responsible. I'm responsible for Bobby. I have been for a long time. For 20 years, one investigator in Orange County made it his mission to solve the case of the boy under the billboard. And as our Maggie Newland explains tonight, that man got all the answers he needed the day he was set to retire. Drivers speeding along the interstate near Mebane would never notice the cross sitting crookedly under a billboard. Weeds nearly hide the peeling stickers that spell out boy 1998. I always wanted to identify him and, and find out his story. Major Tim Horn of the Orange County Sheriff's Office was one of the first investigators on the scene. I just didn't know his name, but I kept the case file under my desk for all those years and just kind of chipped away. Despite painfully slow progress, Horn only became more invested in identifying the boy under the billboard and figuring out who killed him. I was his dad for 20 years. I'm the one that, that tended to him, uh, cared for him, and tried to further the case. In December, he says DNA finally led investigators to identify the child as Bobby Witt. But with his retirement fast approaching, Horn still hoped to find the killer. He says he spoke with John Russell Witt, Bobby's father, who's in a federal prison in Kentucky. We ultimately got the confession that we needed in this particular case on my very last day in law enforcement. I worked it literally to the last minute. This week, a grand jury indicted Witt on charges of first-degree murder in Bobby's death. Although Horn has retired from the sheriff's office, his responsibility to the boy he never knew but sees as a son isn't finished. He will take Bobby's ashes to family members in Ohio. It's his final journey home. I've had him for 20 years, and, and now I'm able to return him to his family. So they can remember his life and honor his name. No longer the boy under the billboard, but Bobby. And Bobby will be laid to rest alongside his mother. Her body was found that same year in South Carolina. Now the DA tells us Witt may be charged in her death as well. Reporting live, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.